guys, it's your girl, Miss Hobbs, and I want to know what you chewing today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. What we are chewing today is going to be some lo mein. Check out what I have going on already. This is one pack of frozen broccoli that I just blanched. That means I put it in boiling water with a little salt, and then I put ice water on it immediately and drain <clears throat> lo mein is traditionally made with egg noodles. I have spaghetti here. If you remember my uh, vlog that we did, I did a two pound box of spaghetti. We use this spaghetti today for our lo mein. That's what we got. My pot is heating up over here. While it is heating, I have chicken here. And we are gonna add this is Chinese five spice. We're gonna add three, well, uh, excuse me, a teaspoon and a half, like this a half teaspoon. I have it out, because I'm using it for everything. So we're gonna use a teaspoon and a half. And I also have shrimp over here next to me that I've already added Chinese five spice to. We're gonna go into the chicken with some baking soda. That helps the chicken stay moist and tender. And we're gonna go in here. Same thing, three of these. Sorry for the extra noise, y'all. There we go. <clears throat> And I'm going to add three teaspoons of soy sauce. We're going to eyeball it. One, two, three. We're going in the shrimp with one teaspoon of soy sauce. And if you can see, I've already added that in there. And all we need to do now is give it a little stir. Excuse me, y'all. Just mix it up, make sure everything gets a little love. And be careful with your Chinese five spice because it is a very strong spice. So you definitely don't want to overdo it with Chinese five spice, but you don't want to leave it out either. And what I like to add to my shrimp, which is not necessarily in the recipe itself, is fish sauce. Add a dash of fish sauce. Just a little dash. Okay. There we go. A little dash, y'all. <laughs> mix it up, mix it up. Make sure everybody gets some love. And my oil, I have just a touch of oil in the pan back there. <clears throat> We're gonna get two. It is smoking hot, y'all. Smoking hot. So I'm going to turn it down and add some cool oil to the pan to cool this off a little bit because I'm going to put some um, garlic in the pan. And we don't want our garlic to burn, do we? I'll move this over just a second. Add the garlic in. Is that a little bit, y'all? Just a little bit. And when you add your garlic in, as soon as you can smell it, which I do already, you want to go ahead and take the chicken and add it in. It only takes a few seconds. on the fire and we just want to get this chicken brown we're not going to cook it all the way through yet so excuse me guys for one second let me wash this bowl out because i'm going to need it in a minute So what 
of y'all chew them. Put, put it down in the comments. Let me know what you're eating. What's good? I know what I'm eating. Yeah, somebody made a video today, y'all. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. My favorite snack. <laughs> you want to know what it is? Tell me the video. You'll know. <laughs> Check him out. You know, I do my thing every nine again, y'all. Every nine again. And I mean every now and again. But y'all know what? I was so happy that I was doing a video right after his. Cause he had to clean up his mess. Yeah. Oh my God. Clean up, you know, behind myself. Try to clean up the kitchen, you know, keep it sparkling. He's a messy cook, y'all. Yes. But he got it done. Yes. It ain't, it ain't how you get to the finish line. As long as you get to the finish line. Yes. <laughs> All right. We got some chicken browning up in here. Oh, God. You can smell that. Ah. Oh. You know what time it is, guys. Uh-oh. Time to hit the dough. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stay in here too much longer. Time to go Ooh, outside. I gotta go outside. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We are getting there with the chicken, guys. Yes. It is definitely smelling good. I will not disagree with B33 mm -hmm. on that one. Ah, man. It be early, too, in the cooking. You don't understand. Like, at least let it be close to the end so I can go ahead and be like, ooh, that smells good. I can grab a plate. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope, you can't handle it. It's just still raw. As soon as it hit the pot, y'all, it just... I wish they could have... What's that? Smell-o-vision? Mm -hmm. smell smell makes you... All right, guys, well, I'm going to let that finish browning up. And if you guys follow me over here, I'm going to make some sauce. So sad. And here I have just about half a cup of oyster sauce. And as I'm dumping that, I'll show you what I got. Oyster sauce. <clears throat> and this is fish sauce. The fish. brand name is oyster. Please don't get them confused. Fish and pepper. <laughs> I want to get all of that out of there and I'm going to add to that a cup full of chicken stock a little bit more you know I'll pour it out like just on Wilson <clears throat> and that's going to be your sauce for your little man guys Simple and easy. And I'm gonna take my same spoon and stir it up. Your chicken stock and your oyster sauce. That even smells good. Yes, it does. Boy, oh boy, I'm getting excited. Let's check on the chicken, y'all. What is it doing over here? Mm -hmm. Some beautiful things. <clears throat> oh, it is smelling delicious. Yeah, I gotta learn this recipe. At least you know you're cooking chicken. <laughs> uh, I've seen too many stories on Facebook lately with uh, certain things mm -hmm. that's in Chinese food that shouldn't be in Chinese food. Person. Different animals. Different animals. So. I, don't, I don't know. I can't say that. Some people eat stuff like that and it's, it's normal to them. It's chicken. It's to true. us. That's true. That's true. I don't know now because every now and again a rat look a little beefy. <laughs> you know, a little rat look a little beefy. I don't know sometimes. It look like it might just be a, a ball of meat. Chunky meat. You never know till you try it, right? I know people eat squirrel. What is squirrel? <laughs> Isn't it a rodent? Right? Ask my grandma. Right, exactly. Isn't that she a She'll bust down a squirrel in a minute. Shoot. And that was some good eating. Not Trust right. me. You just gotta know how to squirrel, do it. Squirrel, possum, come on. 
Mm-hmm. Give, give, give my grandma a coon. She would have broke that down mm-hmm. with some sweet potatoes. Right. Yeah. I'll go down to love. Florida. You get you some. Ooh, even Louisiana. Get you some gator. Oh, yeah. A lot of people eat gator, including myself. I had gator for the first time a couple years back, guys. And my goodness. I swear that was probably the best meat I've ever had in my life, and I didn't think I would like it. And boy, oh, it was cooked by some guys from Oklahoma, believe it or not. It was a Florida State, Oklahoma game, and they came down, and uh, I was out or working the area doing doing an older job that I used to have, and uh, the guy was like, yeah, he was like, we setting up the grill, you need to come back by, because we're going to have some gator meat. He said, we stopped through Louisiana and got gator like fresh caught gator and oh my gosh guys so he no, wasn't ready i was not i was not ready but my stomach was that was very prepared <laughs> it was very prepared and uh but they had a whole plate i had gator I had rice they had a little gravy to go with it they had greens and he called me all excited y'all like i could have something through the phone you know Ain't she was at the rude? house you know that's just rude Look at that chicken. Oh, about right now. Look at this chicken. Yeah, You know when you go walk by the Chinese place and they got the little, uh, they got the chicken on the stick, little two pink. Talking about sample. I want sample. <laughs> you want Come and sample? try. Come and try. They want you to try so you can buy. As soon as you take a whip of that chicken, like, mm, how much for the combo? <laughs> Six ninety nine. Okay. I'll take it. Say, Look at that, guys. Bad. Look at that. That's that, that's that toothpick chicken. Look at that. <laughs> that's that toothpick chicken. Yeah, you walk past and then you get the teeth right there. A little sample. Mm. <clears throat> we going in with the shrimp, Oh, y'all. Lord. Now you're backing it up with the shrimp in the seasoning of the... Oh, my God. It just hit me again, guys. Oh, ah. God. Well, my daughter, she need to take over this cameraman position. I need to go out and go. I got to go, y'all. This ain't right. This is the worst one I think we've ever had. Oh, it smells. It smells so good, you got to use it. Ain't that something? Mm. Look at all that. Look at all that chicken getting in front of this. Hey, you got to give it the love, man. You got to give it the love. Where is the love? To give it to y'all. And you know, it only takes shrimp a couple of minutes to get done, so we're working there. We'll get there in just a minute. Mm, mm, mm. Smells amazing. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to go in the pot. I'm going in. I'm going in. You know, I'm just making sure it's stirred. That's all. I'm just making sure it's stirred. Yeah, you know, I try to help out as much as possible, baby. You know, I got your back. Mm-hmm. You know, I got your back. He got my back, y'all, but I'm trying to open this bag over here behind the camera. Y'all know I have technical difficulties with bags. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, shrimp, done. Bam. And now. I swim well. And like I said, it is not 100% done because everything is going back in the pot. <laughs> so you don't want to overcook anything. Just going to take them out and put them right there in there with the chicken. Uh-oh, I thought I had my, uh, got a straggler. There we go. Damn. All right. Broccoli coleslaw. All this is is broccoli, carrots, and cabbage. Easy way to cut your corners when you're trying to add in your veg for your lo mein. And what you do is just put that in there. With all the rest of the love. I'm missing some pepper, y'all. Excuse me one second. We're going to add some black pepper in here. And we're going to 
gonna get that some love too. All right, and the pan is getting a little dry, but we can add some oil to that to prevent that. Because we are going to have to put our noodles in here. And you don't want a dry pan when you add the noodles. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there, y'all. We add a little bit more. A little more Earl. A little more Earl. Not old folks say Earl. They don't say the Earl, Earl in there. Well, how you put the Earl in the pan? Gotta put the Earl in there. Who is Earl? Why is he in the pan? Hey, Earl, get things done. All right, that is pretty much there, guys. So I have the sauce that we made a few minutes ago. And that's going to help get all the nice brown bits off the bottom, all the good stuff, all the chicken that we cooked and the shrimp. And they can taste tasty good, y'all. Tasty good. Remember, when I do my pasta, I cook it under, at least a minute under the recommended time. Why? Because I want whatever sauce that I'm putting on my pasta to get in the pasta so it can be tasty. And just work it around because I cooked this pasta a little bit ago, y'all. Mm -hmm. One thing about um, Asian type dishes, there's a lot of prep work to it, but it's worth it. Oh, yeah. It's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. As you can mm -hmm. see, it's already coming together. Yeah, that's smelling good right there, guys. It's smelling good. I don't think there's anything that isn't smelling good right now. I'm just. <laughs> Just what it is, guys. Just... You know what? I think I want to top this off with some more oyster sauce. Mm. I don't think nobody would be mad with that right now. Would you be mad with that beef? No, of course not. You know, everything you do, I'm with it. <laughs> I'm not going to argue. And I can tell by just looking at the color. We need a little bit more love in the pot. You know, I need a little color in the line. A little bit of color, see that? There we go. Just a dab. Dab! Oh! Yeah, that's probably another teaspoonful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I already see that brown color. So I'm coming in a little bit. Yep. Stir that in. Yeah, all right. And I have too much stuff in my way, y'all, so excuse me one second. Did you forget about the chicken and the shrimp? There it is. Boom. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Ooh. It's in there. Some of your toothpick chicken. <laughs> Some of my toothpick chicken. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it for now on out. Two pig chicken, two pig shrimp. You know. God. All right. And we cannot forget our good green veggies, y'all. Bring that in. We got, oh, excuse me one second. Let me drain the rest of the ice off of here. As to not water it down. We have the broccoli that I did earlier. Don't want to waste none of that. And I also have, these are six green onions that I've chopped like inch and a half, two inches. Put everybody in there. Look at that, guys. All right, the trick is going to be, can she stir it uh -huh. inside the pot? without making a complete mess. Mm, you know the muscles. Hey, 
Don't hate, don't hate on the too strong, because... you know what I'm saying? Y'all see her shaking is because she a little weak in the elbows. <laughs> she a little weak in the guy. Don't hate on the muscles. It's all right. It's all right. We a little, we working on the wrist and elbow action, y'all. We gonna, gonna we gonna strengthen that. that up. We gonna gotta work on that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm supposed to be in bed right now with my feet propped up. That's right. And you know what? As soon as you get done with this. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be able to prop your feet all the way up. And the sad part about it, guys, she probably ain't going to prop them up. Nope. Nope. She's going to get in there. She's going to get on, on her YouTube and talk to some of her subscribers. Yeah. Now, make sure y'all tune in the comments so she can talk to y'all, too. Comment down below. Say, what's up? Let us know what you're chewing. But she ain't going to prop no feet up. Nope. I'm always on my channel talking to my subscribers, looking for new ideas. So make sure y'all come in. Supporting other people's channels. Yes, we support. Yes. Look at this, y'all. Look at that goodness. I don't know what else to say. Oop, we lost a piece of chicken. Mm. That ain't bad. Mm. I, wonder, I wonder what's going to happen mm. with that piece. Mm. <laughs> mm. Y'all, that two piece chicken, all right. <laughs> Not the two peak chicken. You a killer, but you gonna come up with a two peak chicken song mm -hmm. now to add to the album. Give me some of that two peak chicken. Two chicken. There you go, Katie. I need a two peak chicken. Two peak chicken. Two peak chicken. Two peak chicken. I don't know about that. That's a hit. In 1974. Hey. Two big chicken. Two big chicken. Mm, look at that. Get in there. And I'm actually looking in the bottom of the, pa the pot. Y'all probably cannot see, but I'm making sure all the sauce has been absorbed and the pot is pretty dry and that's where I want it to be. So, here we go. I am going to turn this off. And I will fix you guys a plate. And I will see you guys shortly. All right, guys. We are back, and I have fixed your plate. We have shrimp and chicken lo mein, and I've added sesame seeds to the top. Ooh, nice. And mm. as always, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, smooches. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. If you like this video, make sure to click the notification bell so when we release a new video, you know first. Thank you, guys.